Mongolia is a country with relatively abundant natural resources, including copper, coal, iron ore, and others. Um, uh, in the last uh, more than 10 years, so when the, during the commodity uh, super, uh, price super cycle, Mongolia actually, Mongolian economy has been growing in a rapid pace. Like we even reached uh, GDP growth like 17.3 percent. And but after uh, commodity super cycle is over, we end up with high debt and even more, even more debt to be issued. And uh, it means we are fragile uh, for to, towards these uh, price fluctuations and uh, volatile. Um, prices, so it, it clearly shows that Mongolia needs uh, good mechanisms towards mitigating these risks and to make uh, macroeconomy, the Mongolian economy, more stable and sustainable. So uh, uh, the one big issue is that Mongolia is very dependent on natural resource, Mongolian economy, and uh, the people say we need to diversify economy. So it's I think it's very important, but uh, diversifying economy means we are not going to skip from mining sector. Uh, instead, we need to uh, learn to deal with, deal better with the mining sector and make the good out of it, and then so that we can diversify the economy. So for this, I think uh, we need uh, to understand, uh, raise our improve our understanding level of understanding, and how actually a natural resource works, and uh, how other successful countries uh, are dealing with this, and how what are the key failure reasons that other countries did, and what's our uh, mistakes that we had before. So this is very important. And second thing is, uh, we need to apply the, uh, the good examples in Mongolia. But of course, there is no one-size-fits-all scheme. You know, uh, so all countries have their own characteristics. So uh, we need to look at like Chile, Botswana, Norway, and other countries. But uh, also find our own yeah, characteristics of Mongolia. Then we should apply uh, good examples in Mongolia. For example, uh, uh, recently Mongolian government parliament approved uh, law on um, a future heritage fund. So. Even though today we don't, we are not uh, get you know the price is down now, and uh, uh, Mongolia is uh, our economy is uh, a lack of uh, uh, lack of money now. But still, uh, considering our future cash flow, we need to start today by creating the sovereign wealth fund, and uh, it can take time to be a fund better. And um, um, and another one big issue is that uh, there is a big coal coal uh, deposit in Mongolia. Uh, which is called Tavantalpa Coal Deposit, and uh, that is majority uh, mainly owned by state-owned company. So uh, there's a big issue: is the governance of the state-owned company. So in order to uh, raise this governance uh, of the state-owned company, also we need to, uh, including civil society and politicians, need to uh, understand a lot more about uh, these uh, governance issues. So I think it's very important uh, and beneficial to have, uh, for example, this energy eye and similar organizations support uh, for this matter. Mm -hmm.